In this video, I'm showing you how to add or install texture packs or resource packs to Minecraft. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. We really do appreciate it. And please do watch this video right until the end of the full steps. And let's go and get straight into this. Here we are on my desktop and let's go and continue with this guide. So the first thing you want to do is go and open up a web browser. So I'm personally using Google Chrome. Now, this next step is going to vary a little bit depending if you already know there's a certain texture pack you want or if you're just going to go and browse for some. So if you're looking to browse for texture packs, I recommend going to a website called Planet Minecraft. So just type in Planet, then Minecraft, just like so, and go and search for that. And as you can see, the website is planetminecraft.com. It's a really great Minecraft sort of community website. Then all you want to do is go and click on Minecraft, and then we want to go on Content and go and look for texture packs. Then just go and click on it, and it's going to take a moment to load, and here are all of the different texture packs. As you can see, you can go and click on Trending, and you can go and see some of the most popular ones, and there are so many to go and choose from. However, if you've gone and got a specific texture pack you want, then all you need to do is go and search for that. In my case, I want a texture pack called Faithful, so all I'm going to go and do is search for Faithful, just like so. But I do recommend adding Minecraft texture pack at the end, just so you make sure you actually get sort of results specific to Minecraft. And here we are. Then as you can see, actually Faithful have their own website. So I'm going to go and click on it just like so. Of course, do make sure it's a trusted website before you download anything. So this is the one I want here. Um, in this case, I want Faithful 1.18. And just a quick note, when it comes to choosing the version of Minecraft for the texture pack, as you can see, this is 1.18. I recommend just going and getting the version of the texture pack which you play Minecraft on. For example, I play Minecraft on 1.18. So I'm going to go and get a texture pack for 1.18. You can get an older one, but then what's going to happen there is some textures aren't going to be up to date. For example, if there's a new block, it's not going to be covered. So it's best just to go and get a, a version which matches the version you play. So this is 1.18, so I'm going to go and click on download, just like so. And as you can see, it goes and drops a zip file here. And when you download a texture pack, you may go and get an add wall. If you do, just make sure you go and click skip, add in the top right, and then the download should begin. Now, the next thing you want to go and do is go and locate the download. In your case, it may not be in the bottom of your browser, as every browser is slightly different. You may need to go and open up your file explorer, and then you want to go to straight to your downloads folder. But regardless of what browser you use, files you download are always going to be in your downloads folder on your computer. And just to make things a bit easier I'm going to go and drag this zip file which is the texture pack onto my desktop just like so and then we can come and close off of our browser and all you want to do is go and launch Minecraft. So here we are on the Minecraft launcher and as I just showed you I downloaded the texture pack for Minecraft 1.18 and I'm playing on 1.18 as you can see and all you want to do is now go and click play. So here we are on Minecraft. Now you can go and install a texture pack while you're inside of a game on Minecraft or you can go and install it from the main menu as well. So in this case, I'm gonna go and install it from the main menu. So all you need to do is go and click on options, just like so, and then go and click on resource packs. As you can see in this available list here, I have got one called X-Ray Texture Pack. Yours is probably just gonna say programmer art if you haven't got any others already. Now, all you need to do is go and click open pack folder. And what that is gonna go and do is go and launch the resource packs folder. So now all you need to do is go and drag the texture pack into this folder here, just like so, there it is. Then you can go and close off of this texture pack and you may need to go and refresh your texture pack folder or your resource pack folder. And there you go. As you can see, we've now got our faithful one in the available menu. Now to go and use it, you need to go and press on this arrow just like so. Make sure it's above default as otherwise it's going to be lower in the priority list. And then you can go and click done. And now let's go and jump into a game and go and see the changes. Here we are, the game has just loaded. And as you can see, this texture pack looks really, really cool. It completely changed the look of Minecraft and I really like it. And if you want to go and turn it off, then all you need to do is go and pause your game, go and click on options, go to the resource packs menu here. Then all you need to do is go and press on this arrow again, press done, Minecraft is going to reload and then we can unpause the game and it's going to be completely back to normal. As you can see here we are, Minecraft looks completely normal. If you found this video useful please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. Leave a like for more, peace.